I'm welcoming you back to Arenga TV live and direct here in Ibadan or your state. <laughs> Follow me as we journey to the hill and also the environment of Adrawayo. Can I touch the lake? There's this tortoise here. The name is Papa. And Papa is how old? Papa is 165 years old. This is the hill itself. And uh, from the story we had, it's like if we look at this thing very well, there's a rock on top, isn't it? That's the load. That's the load that the, the woman stole. stole. I'm sure you can notice something behind me. Man is the largest place that all, all the worlds are seen. Today, I am still in Oyo, yes, Oyo town, Benny Oyo Gongong, that's where we are. And we are at Atiba Hall. Atiba Hall is an historical hall. From what you can see, this is the hall. You will see the drone footage. If you come to Oyo and you have not seen this hall, that means that you've not been to Oyo.
His Royal Majesty, Oba Reverend Ademola Olubile Folakami, the Alado of Aduawai. Aduawai is an historic town. Then Alado being the prince, the crown prince of Alafi Uluaso of Oyo in 1370. The founder of Adu Awaye was named Obakoyi, a direct son of Alafi Uluaso, who when he lost the chance to Alafi in 1370, he decided to go and resettle at Ota, his mother's town. And while going from Oyo, he came to the place now known and addressed as Adu Awai. And he saw the historic mountain that housed the tourist attraction, one of its kind in the world. When he saw the mountain along with his uh, cronies, the source of flakes, flames are the source of flames on the hill. On the first flame, there might be human existence here. So they decided to go and see who put the, the flames there. When they got there, they met some Dahomey refugees, people who escaped from the Dahomey war, who were there because that mountain used to be a protector in the past from war. When enemies are coming, and people are on the top, we always roll stone and put slippery elements so as to get the enemy down. So the Daomi war, the Daomi masquerade escaped to that place. And when Obakoye and his people got there and met them, you know in the past, once a son of Alafi, he is an Alafi anywhere. He was with the staff of his father. So when the Daomi refugees saw him, they quickly recognized this is a prince of Alafi. And they request to know his plight. He told them that well, his junior brother took the chance of Alafi in it away from him. And he decided to go and settle at his mother's town, Ota. Oh, they said, don't go again. Settle with us here. We are also migrants from uh, Dahomey. And we are afraid of staying alone in this wilderness. But with you, as a prince of Alafi, we will make you our king. So we are not going anywhere again. You too, don't go anywhere again. They now agree. We stay here at Dro Sibi. That's how the word Ado came into existence. I'm talking about issues that happened, incident that happened in 1580. Exactly 15,080. By and by, uh, in the 18th century, one of the, the then Alado, I think about the sixth Alado then, um, was a hunter, a path hunter. The first, the first seventh Alado were on the hill. This hill you are going to. The town was settled down on the hill. And uh, you will see, when you get there, you will see our ancient, you know, centers there. But the eight Aladu decided that let's go down. Already we are multiplying this place, this mountain will not contain us again. But the fear of wild animals down the mountain was uh, kicking the people on the top. Being a big powerful hunter, he came down and they got rid of all those wild animals and he settled um, Adu people down the hill. Around the same time, there was another small settlement called Hawaii. So they are not called Hawaii by that time, but they were settled somewhere very close to us. Yeah. So there was an Ijaye war that invaded them and they escaped. The king of our, that, of that settlement escaped. He knew that Ado Hill was a point of protection. So he was running to Ado Hill. He was shot on the feet down 
defeat. So the guy, people thought that he had died, so they left. But fortunately, he was recovered. He recovered. He didn't die. So when the people came there to meet him, he said, ah, we thought you had died. So ah, I'm alive. Mo ye. So it's better we said to Ria, don't let us go fight again. Awaye. I know it's beside us. So that is how that amalgamation was made in the 18th century. Ado Awaye. The Adora Waye's uh, King's uh, Palace look like. That's where we are. So we just finished interviewing the, the king himself. So now the king wants one of his uh, officers to take us to the mountain. So we do have uh, some villagers here. Yeah? Apart from the the staff from the palace that also want to go with us. So, like I said, I have um, a daddy from the king's palace. Your name, sir? Amdaweye. Amdaweye. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay, so that's the uh, officer that uh, the king handed us over to. So, I have here with me a honku. Is also, sir, your name? With Mr. Moses Jato. Mr. Moses Jato. So he's going to be with us to the mountain. And I have a daddy here too. Your name, sir? Yekini Aku. Yeah, so you are an indigenous of this place. Oh, okay. So let's go and explore. <laughs> I don't know what to say. You've heard everything from the king. Let's keep moving. We are now climbing the stairs to the mountain. Ha! Yes, sir. So I have my people here with me. I've already introduced them to you. So, from what I heard, it's going to take us nothing less than an hour. That's if we are fit enough. <laughs> Ah. Yeah. Ah, okay, sir, we should come and uh, relax under the shed. <sighs> Going up is difficult. By coming down, I know that will be very easy. So, that's J Boy that we were waiting for. He just uh, stopped uh, flying the drone, so we are here now. And here, we are at the point of uh, a very big rock, and they call this rock Easter Gate. So from the story I heard from our tour guides, this Easter Gate uh, is like a fruitful uh, rock. 
whosoever is barren, any woman that is barren, you know, they come when once they come to this place, they pray and seek for, you know, child. And uh, from what I heard, that this rock, more or less like a shrine, you can say the white uh, cloth that is being tied around it, you know, the rock as in Ishage will definitely give that person a child. So, we are still on our way and we learn that hunters are here. They are hunters, Abi. I learned these are the hunters. Are you an hunter? Yes. And you? What? And you too? Wow. Have you seen young hunters before? Have you seen young hunters before? Yes. These are young hunters. So, well done. Uh, what type of animals have you killed before? Where are you going to Hey, 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 My people, we are now at the, at the suspended lake. We just got in there now. Follow me and let's see the world famous and the one and only suspended lake, natural in the world. Follow me, let's go. This is the famous suspended lake. The only one that we have in the whole world. This is the suspended lake. Wow. Okay. Can I touch the lake? 
Ah, yes, then go by. Yes, I ask if I can touch the leg. He now said that I should make sure that my leg does not even uh, touch it. If my leg touch it, and my, if my leg does not touch it and my hand touch it, my body has already touched it. So it's better for me to just maintain my peace. So if you go on any tour, to any places like this, you have to be very careful because you never can tell. And from what we had, some uh, guys from the Europe or America, I learned they came here and uh, they were told that this thing is very, very deep. But they said they just want to know exactly what is there. About 40 something years ago, isn't it? 40 something years ago. So, and when they got here, they tried to have a chain tied to one of the rocks and one of them was going in, in, in and in and in and the guy never came back. So, I know it's part of an adventure. So wherever you are, anywhere you go to, you just have to keep yourself safe as well. So that's just my own advice for any of us doing this kind of a thing that I'm doing. We need to be very careful. Thank you. So this is the lake. We move around. This is elephant three. Elephant three. Elephant three in Adu Awaye Hill Mountain. That is it. Ah. I hope, I hope the elephant will not come out alive. <laughs> wow. Look at the view. Just look at the view here. Look at the view. So that you know that, yes, we are on top of the mountain. So, my people, this place is a place where the Ifa priest lived before he was being killed by the white people. This is his um, abode. This is where he lived before he was being killed by the white people. And direct at uh, where? Oh, yo! And behind me is the palace of Ikuba Bayeye, that is the king Alafi of Oyo. Yes, that's where we are right now in Oyo. Yeah, this is a symbol of uh, maracas. That's what we call shekere. And that is the entrance of the king's palace. Uh, 
Black gate there, I learned that is the entrance to the King's Palace. So, and then, um, you know. Yeah, well, this is the King's Palace. I just want you to have a view of it. So daddy is telling me that this is the first mountain before we now climb on the second one and then the third one. Are you Waganika? Waganika no one. So what about the I want to be I want to be I want to be I want to be I to what does he what does he I but but <laughs> This is the second phase of the mountain. I'm sure you have heard what Baba had to say about these stones. You know, it was during the war that uh, uh, Baba said that used this stone to fort uh, the Fulanese. 
so that's what they use in there. What our daddy is saying here is this. He said, over there is where the God of Thunder lived. Daddy, daddy, with the title of Aboke said, This is Ojowu River. That's the three Ojowu rivers. So, this one is the uh, Ojowu River, means uh, the, the jealous uh, uh, river. So, and there were three women. So, it's jealousy that led them to this place. You can see one, two, and three. Sir, uh, let's ask the Baba if there's any history behind uh, this uh, river. Hey, Joy, it's a little bit more. Oh, Joe, you do Joe. I'm not going to go now. 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 So, I'm not going to go now. I'm not going to go now. Okay. I'm not going to go now. So, I'm not going to go now. Aragbibona, sin kakame tali, tali pe. Aragbibona, no hoi le jarang o, no hua me. Hmm, to jarang o. Wow. Ele, eba bumi ele, 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 ele kau moyo tu, kau moles kuasa tu, dakwada. Eba bumi ele siyo dakwada. Oh. Tali, siwa, tali siwa. Eh? So you hear what Daddy just said? He said these three women they were married to same man and the man, you know, and the, the, these two that are very close, they love each other. But this one, they decided to stay away from her, and that is why this one lead to this. So they are interwoven, these two, while this one is separately here. So let's keep moving. We are still on the mountain hill of Iya Mafo. Ah, oh girl. If someone tells me that uh, there's something like this here, honestly, I will doubt it. But you've had it all from our daddy. As in uh, the father in charge of this place, he said there are four, and that um, he is the leader of them all. And meanwhile, um, on Sundays, today is Sunday, that uh, we are very lucky to be here today. Uh, had it been that is uh, tomorrow, Monday, that uh, we won't be allowed to, you know, come in here. And apart from that, simply the reason being that uh, the people today, they've gone to the market to sell. So on Monday, that's when they will be returning back uh, from the market. So and if you get here, you even be hearing different noise, sounds here and there, and you will not see anybody. Wow. That's serious and that's very great. So we thank our daddy for bringing us down to uh, Yamapo's uh, uh, mountain uh, top here, yeah? and I believe this is a uh, Yamako shrine, isn't it? So, thank you very much, sir. So, for those of you that are watching, I want to believe that uh, this is an opportunity for you to explore this place wherever you are in the world. I want you to know that Yamako is one of its kind. 
It's like I have never seen any mountain that is as big and very historical as this mountain that I'm in here. So try to come over here, come and invest here. The people are very friendly. They are nice people and just come and have a look. Enjoy yourself, relax. This is okay. Agbele Hill. This is the environment. This is the hill itself. And then uh, from the story we had, it's like if we look at this thing very well, there's a rock on top, isn't it? That's the load. That's the load that the, the woman stole. stole. Okay. I learned that she stole that load. And uh, that's, his, uh, that's her head. So, you can see the nose. Where, where's the nose and the mouth? Look at the nose. Look at the mouth. Okay, uh, this side. Yeah. Wow. So where's the baby that he was uh, back in then? At the other side? No. So I don't think that's it. Wow. This is serious. So it was when he got to this spot that he turned she turned to this. Yes. Man. If you are watching me right now, what do you think about this? What do you think about it? Do you see it as being real or just a fabricated story? But this is Africa. We are richly endowed with culture and tradition. This is the symbol of this town. Let me know what you think about it. If you think this should be part of a tourist center for our people, I know it's on Google Map. If you Google, if you search, you will see it there. So, this is the hill. And this hill has been here, donk has been here for donkey years. Wow. Okay, I believe. Wow. I'm trying to see if I can do a 360 round of the eel so that you can see it man see it's as if it's going to fall apart wow. but they said it's been there for years see somehow when you are under heat it's as if I don't know wow anyway if you know anything about this hill let's know 
leave a comment below and uh, if you really enjoyed this video give us a giant thumbs up and do share this video so that it can get to as many people as you can I'm sure you can notice something behind me That's Boas Tower erected in December, erected in December, in December 1936. 1936. In the honor of Captain Rose L. Boa, the first resident and travel commissioner of Interior Europe, 1893 to 1897. He's a peacemaker. During that time, we are some war. We are fighting each other. That's why they said the Queen Victoria in the 18th uh, century, he sent Captain Rose Elboa to Yoruba land for the peacemaker. During that time, we had some war uh, in Yoruba land. Kirijiwo, Ekitiparapo. So they kept a while, and a laughing. Afanjak Pelusulu in Nelore. We are fighting each other during that time that we never see ourselves. But we are under colonial regime during that time. Control us by Queen Victoria. Queen Victoria. And Quintoria is the one who sent Captain Rus Elboa to come and make peace in Yoruba land in the 18th century. When he, when he came to Ibada in Yoruba land, he stayed at Ijai, from Ijai. He came to Ibada here to settle the, the matter because during that time, Ibada is the largest place that all, all the warriors are still doing that time before you can, you can settle the matter. Uh, he's the first person that did take this place in Agala. They call it Agala and Okearema side in Nevada. This, this place is the center, center of Ibada, the eel that when you stay here, you can see so many places in Nevada. In 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 and uh, during that time, he spent four years to settle the matter. He don't want to stand, he don't want to go by that time, but something happened. You know, when they call warriors or peacemaker, the peacemaker will carry some shoja around the side. Yeah. If they never drew on the round table, if that, that they want to fight on the war, they will fight them. But during that time, there's one Balogu, Akitola. Captain Russell Bowa cash him and put him in, this, in the cell during that time. But when they look inside the cell, they never see that Bale Balogu again and they go find him inside the house 
a attempt to the stranger and eat during that time. Captain Russell Boa tell them that they should catch him again, put him inside the cell, that I want to travel to Boma Shop. When I came back, I will come and judge him. Judge him. But during that time, Bale Akintola told him that if you are the one, you will judge me, you will never come back. Hmm. During that time, he traveled to Bomasho. When he coming back, he have accident. Wow. In, 18, in 1897, they rush him back to England. In 1936, those contractors, they have built Mako because they finished Mako in 1927. That's we under the colonial. We, we never have independence during that time. In 1936, those people, in 1928-30, those people who are built Mako finish, they came here. In his name, they built this place and commissioned it in 1936. During that time, this is the first round step in Africa during that time. Well, and since that time, they called this place Captain Ruth Elboa. And when they want to commission this, this step, they climb this step, it's round step until you will go up. And they divide the step into two. When people are past this place, go up. They are passing the other side to come down. To come down. You will see each other, but you can't meet each other. Wow. How do we locate the ostrich? Sir, hello, sir. So, how do we locate the ostrich and the other one? So, I'm trying to talk to our daddy that is in charge of uh, this place to lead us to where the ostrich is. You've seen Papa, but we'll still come back and meet uh, Papa. Okay, okay, and he is the other, okay. Okay, okay. Look at the environment. Very big. That's Gay Boy over there. And I have a Slyman. I also have a Saeed. Saeed, say hi to the vlog. Okay, that's Saeed for you. You'll be seeing Saeed more often because he's going to be my tour guide in Oyo. So in case you want to come to Oyo to visit Oyo, he's not going to do it for free, eh? but he's going to collect something reasonable from you. He will collect something reasonable for you. So we're about to go to where the ostrich is now. Where you have that big ball, uh, big no, boss? No. Before the big boss? No, look at this. That's building here. Okay, okay. And we'll be cutting building while we get here. Okay. Company. Okay. And the world company. And we'll be keeping our queen. Okay. No, no, but I'm to give her my red eye. Okay, okay. So we want to check on uh, Daika. They call Daika what? Etu Abi. What do you call Thai Daika? Eh? Etu Abi. Daika. I don't know. <laughs> oh, maybe when we get there, you people will know the type of uh, animal that uh, he's talking about. He said we won't get a. Uh, is it not where they have this? Uh, Okay. Is that? I mean, which one is that? Oh, this. That's dog.
Wow, that's all street show. See how big the ostrich is. And I guess that's there's something there. Man? Hello? This one? Can you people see clearly? Let me see. Ah, there's no way I can move closer to it. What do they call this? He said Daika. It's like, this is my first time of hearing an animal called Daika. Though I know they call, there's an animal in my language they call Etu. Aha. Uh -huh. And it's like, it, it runs like anything. Etu Obiji. Isn't it? What an historical background of eh, the Bauer store. Anyway, I'm sure for those of you that are not an indigent of this great city, you have learned something today and it will be there for the rest of your life. So I will try to see if we can get to the top and see the view that we'll be able to capture when we get there now. So Baba, let's go sir. Wow, look at the step. Look at the steps. Wow. How many steps do we have here, sir? 47. 47 steps. Wow. It's dark here. So I will have to. So. I've gotten to where there's light, so I've put it on. As you can I see. Okay, but that is up. Oh. Okay, we've gotten to the. Wow. Wow. That's Coco House there. Coco House. That's Wood Kingsway. That's Glass House. Twelve Indian Sea. That's Oki Bola side. Saint Cathedral. Opposite Awolowa House. At wow. Kibola. This area is Agbini side. Methodist Agbini. Wow. When you go like this, when you see on top of this mat, you will see my blue hall. Yeah, we okay. have blue roof. Okay, the blue roof there. Yeah, okay. That's and you see it going this very side. Adio uh, Yom. Hospital. Adio Yom Hospital. This area we call it Kiare. Oh, Kiare. Oh, wow. Yeah. Can you see? And you met to OJ. And we are through that place. When you go like this, that's NTA. Okay, we pass through NTA. That's NTA. NTA, that mass you are looking over there. Okay. With butter color, brown roof. Okay, okay. And when you look at top there, you will see one white, uh, white house there. This side the bush. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. That's governor house there. Okay, that white one there. Yes. Easier. Okay, 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 okay. Like I can see yeah. That's governor house. When you look at at the back there, you will see Bashorun side. How this place? Uh, when you look this place, UCH and Secretariat. This UCH, Secretariat there. Then you come to this side. That's the premier hotel on top of that. Okay, here. okay. After Mapola, 
If I had rich people, Okay, okay. Yeah, That's how we locate. That's the Sabu side here. The road we are going to LA LA. Go wow. find. What a great view. Wow. Ah, this is incredible. What a great, great view. Anyway, um, it's on this door we want to thank our daddy. Uh, thank you very much, sir. We really appreciate you for taking your time and uh, we pray that uh, God will continue to strengthen you, sir, and uh, you will reap the fruit of your labor by the special grace of God and uh, you will never lack. God will be with your children, your great grandchildren will live to enjoy this world. And in fact, the, la the, the, the kind of life that you have not enjoyed in life. Your own children and grandchildren will enjoy it. So, thank you very much, Baba. We really appreciate you. Amen. Amen. If you come to Oyo and you want to visit the national park, I want to let you know now that the best place to go to is Old Oyo National Park at Shekweteri. Right there, you will see a lot of things if i'm able to visit the park at shepherdary i will let you know <laughs> have you seen a tortoise before yes there's this tortoise here the name is papa and papa is how old papa is 165 years old <laughs> now I want to introduce to you the one and only 165 years old Papa. <laughs> wow. That's Papa for you. Papa the Papa. See, oh, he's eating mango. This is Papa's abode and uh, Papa is eating mango. Papa! So we still come back to Papa. We still come back to check on Papa and uh, for you to see how Papa is doing. Perfect.